Hi, welcome to lecture 1A of um, the body's response to stress. Um, if you missed out on lecture 1, please do take a look at it. Um, this is where we talked about the um, SAM system and the pituitary adrenal system, also known as a PASS. So the main focus of lecture 1A is to look at answering exam questions on the SAM and HPA pathways. And just to realise really that it's not as scary as you probably um, thought, thought it would be. Okay, um, just to recap, I am Miss M. Maduka and I will talk you through now um, every single question that, have, that has ever been up on the uh, um, SAM and HPA pathways. And you're going to notice that it's not very many, for example, some years they've actually skipped it out. And that's really, really horrifying, especially if you've been up all night really studying the different pathways. Hence why I said don't be so anxious about it because it's so simple, so straightforward. And the most important thing is that you'll never, ever be asked to write an essay on the SAM and HPA pathways because the specification just requires you to outline it. OK, so let's take a look at the first question we can get. So I'm not making my screen a bit big so I can write and show you exactly how I'll go about writing each um, single examination question. So in unit two, section A is always biological psychology and that is just basically stress. OK, so we can get questions like this. So when I read, so I'm going to read it, I'm going to read it to you exactly like as I, if I'm a student. So complete the diagram below so that it shows stages of the sympatho medullary pathway and the pituitary adrenal system. OK, so we looked at that in lecture one. For each stage, write the appropriate letter in the correct box. Now, this is for four marks, easy four marks. But don't rush into it. I would advise you to take like two minutes, a minute or two to think, first of all. So the first thing I would do is I would highlight um, the key words in the question. OK, so my key words, for example, would be the sympathomedullary pathway and the pituitary adrenal system. I would also say, just to recap my memory, first of all, I would say, what do each of these pathways, what are they responsible for and what are the key players based on my memory? So I'll take time to do maybe maybe a little diagram on the two pathways and the, play, and the key players. So, for example, let's look at the first one. This is exactly what I would do. OK, so I'll, I'll do like a little mini brainstorm. So I'll be like, OK, that's acute stress. And then what is my main players I have? What do I remember? I have the SNS, um, that's the um, sympathetic nervous system and a key player as well. I remember my little diagram will be noradrenaline. And then another key player will be adrenal medulla or medulla. That is obviously the in the inside of the adrenal gland, and then the final key player I have is adrenaline. Okay, that is what I remember from head. So I can do like a little diagram or just around the side of the page, whatever, just so I can recap first of all, because people do make silly mistakes and lose a lot of marks here. Then I'll do the same thing for the pituitary, sorry, the pituitary adrenal system. Okay, do exactly the same thing. So I just key point. So I'll be like, okay, that is chronic stress. Then I have the um, hypothalamus. Then I have the um, pituitary glands, then I have ACTH, then I have the adrenal cortex, and then I have the release of cortisol. Oh, just to, just to um, let you know as well, um, over here, cortisol, I said it's cortisol in lecture one. It is cortisol, or it can also um, be known as corticosteroids. Same thing, same difference, who cares? It's either cortisol or cortisol steroid. Um, we're not biologists, so you don't need to go into detail about the differences between the two of them. So either one is absolutely fine, and it's exactly the same thing, okay? So once I've done that, I've done my quick brainstorm, for example, 
I do a process of elimination very, very quickly. So adrenal medulla would be, oh, that's part of my SAM system. So next to here, I'd write SAM or um, sympathetic medullary pathway, but just write SAM because it's quicker. B, I'll be adrenal cortex and I'll be like, oh, that's my pituitary adrenal system. Yes, I write PASS. So either SAM or PASS. Decreases heart rate and blood pressure. Mm, I know that'll be my parasympathetic nervous system. So I'll put that there, P and PSNS. Liver stores energy, you don't know where that comes from, so I'll just leave that blank, for example. Yeah, cortisol or corticosteroids released, I'll put that as PASS. Adrenaline and noradrenaline released, I'll put that as SAM. Pituitary gland as PASS. Gets body ready for fight or flight, I'll put that as SAM. And immune system suppressed, suppress, I'll put that as PASS, basically. Yeah, so the step, next, um, next stage, we'll just do process of elimination okay so you just go through each a b c d e and say whether it's from pass or whether it's from sam okay then we look at the question so we've got a so we, we can for example rule out a for example adrenal medulla is already there so we have to think what happens so we know this line here is going to be from our short term stress our response our acute stress that is the sam system Okay, so medulla is always a SAM system. So A is already gone. What happens um, from adrenal medulla? What happens, what gets released? So I know adrenaline gets released. Do I get adrenaline? Oh, I see F, adrenaline and noradrenaline is released. That will do for me. So I'll put that as F right here. And then finally, after noradrenaline and adrenaline is released, what then happens? What else have I got as um, SAM? I've got, oh, gets body ready for fight or flight. So I'll put H in there. Okay, so I have a F H and then I'll do exactly the same thing for B so B is adrenal cortex I know the cortex is part of my chronic response to stress that is part of the pituitary adrenal system so after adrenal cortex I would have had here on my brainstorm somewhere I haven't done it now I would have had here so what happens um what gets released from adrenal cortex then I know it's definitely going to be cortisol slash corticosteroids released yeah based on my little diagram so I know I'm going to put E in here and then what happens after cortisol, cortisol, um, cortisol steroids release? Now, be careful because we know the pituitary gland is also part of the um, chronic response to stress, part of the um, PASS system. However, we know that from the pituitary gland, cortisol is going to be released. But cortisol is already here already. Yeah, it's already um, E. So we can't have E and then we have G because that would be wrong. And that's where they've tricked you, basically. So it's definitely not G. So what happens when cortisol is released? And remember when we told when we spoke about in lecture one that the immune system gets suppressed. That would that'd be one of the effects of having cortisol in our system. So the answer here will be I. So here would be B, E and I. So very, be very, very careful because a difference between one or two marks could be a difference of grades, yeah? So start with the process of elimination. So highlight keywords, um, start looking at jogging your memory by taking a minute or two by looking at keywords for each particular system. So I've done it, I started you off here with the sympath um, sympathetic medullary pathway. Do the same thing for the pituitary system, um, the um, um, pituitary adrenal system, the PASS. And then do a process of elimination and then fill out the boxes. This shouldn't take you more than like four, four or five minutes to do. Technically, I say to my students that you should always give it a mark a minute. Yes, yeah, so actually four minutes plus two. So you should always have two minutes for thinking time. So that should be not more than enough to do that. So do not let anxiety rule you here. Just breathe. And just think, OK, what do I know about the SAM? What do I know about the PASS system? And then do process of elimination and you're fine. And it's all done and dust, dusted. OK, um, another question um, we can have. And we call these kind of questions um, application questions because you kind of have to apply your knowledge to an um, unknown um, scenario. OK, so um, here. You're just about to cross the road when a car comes speeding around the corner and narrowly misses you. So first of all, I will start with my highlighting keywords. Narrowly misses me. Yeah, it didn't actually hit me. Narrowly misses me. So already I'll be like, what kind of stress is this? Is it long term stress? No. So you say it is definitely acute stress. 
yeah so definitely a keep stress because it's short term it doesn't go on for a long period of time so this is acute stress and what I need to know is what pathway deals with acute stress this will be the SAM system sympathetico adrenal medullary system okay so so I know it's SAM it's acute stress so what are my key players in the um, in SAM for example my key players are the sympathetic nervous system okay then we have noradrenaline And adrenaline so noradrenaline first and then we have um, the adrenal medulla and then we have adrenaline okay those are my key players already so I'd already had some time remember it is worth four marks I've had a bit of time to just brainstorm um, what's going on here so after so, next, so afterwards standing safely on the pavement you notice that your mouth is very dry okay Hmm, why would your mouth be dry? Is it because your digestive system has just been, has shut down, basically? Remember when I said in lecture one that we have no use for our digestive system when we're under state of shock or fear? Okay, so we could be like, mouth is dry, mouth dry equals digestive system. Shut. Okay, and what else you got? Your breathing is very fast and your heart is thumping. Okay, so we know that's really the effects of adrenaline running through our system, basically, which we looked at before. Yeah, so breathing fast, etc. So I'll type, I'll type out the next thing, or you know, you're supposed to do like little annotations around the scenario that it's given to you. Okay, so once you've done your little annotations around, you should be ready to write the form marker, basically, using a keyword such as um, um, the sympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for preparing the body to fight or flight, releases noradrenaline, yeah, and also the adrenal medulla is activated, which releases adrenaline. And effects of adrenaline, what the person was feeling was, for example, um, having um, um, the heart beating really fast, really fast breathing, for example. And you can have the digestive system basically a shutdown. This is an effect. This is the effects of adrenaline as well. Hence why they're feeling the mouth that was dry. OK, so because it's four marks. So have we got four bits of information there? So we've spoken about that, the SNS, right? Noradrenaline, two three um four adrenaline mouth dry so there's more than enough there so remember to look at your marks yeah four marks have at least four bits of information and if you want to be extra have five or six but do not spend any more than six minutes writing a four mark question so they want you to talk about the key players they don't want you to start talking about oh the reason why your mouth is dry is because you were feeling very scared or you're feeling thirsty. That is not psychology. You need to use your knowledge, use what you've known from lecture one to answer these particular questions. Okay? The same thing for this question as well. Outline the pituitary adrenal system. Three marks. I would, first of all, I'll do my what is the pituitary adrenal system? I'll be like, oh, that is chronic stress. Let's pop out to spot chronic. Chronic stress. Yep. So you say that is long term stress. And what are my key plays in the pituitary adrenal system? It even says it in a name. You have the pituitary gland, and that basically um, um, releases ACTH. ACTH then stimulates the adrenal cortex. So already remember how many bits of information do you need? So once I've done my brainstorming part all around my paper, which is this bit here, just imagine this is a paper. I've done all my brainstorming, I've done pituitary gland, etc. Blah blah blah. So I'm just I'm looking looking at time here. So you do all your brainstorming at the bottom and then you delve into answering a question. So three marks, three bits of psychological information, please, and then you start writing the question, um, the answer. So that shouldn't take us more than five minutes. And the same thing for the sympathetic medullary pathway. You have some space to write down the key players. So this one would be the sympathetic nervous system, adrenal medulla, and adrenal um, adrenaline, for example. So that question relatively very easy. 
and then another type of question like this now be careful with these particular types of questions because basically they're asking for two but there are actually three so a is the sam b is sam and d is sam but they're asking for two so you can use any two that's fine yeah if you do any more than